And to be honest, I'm so tired of being poor and broke, you guys. So, coco! In today's video, we are talking about 2021 goals and intentions. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nats and I hope everyone is happy, healthy and doing okay. You guys, happy, happy new year. This is the first video of the new year, isn't it? Yeah. And I have been just chilling. I missed my upload last week. My ears is ringing. Watch at me. Hmm. People talking about me, man. Happy new year to you. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I missed my upload last week just because I I felt as if I wanted to do this video and then I felt as if it doesn't make sense I do this video and all of this. But you know what? Some of the times as creators, we definitely do not give ourselves enough credit with the content that we put out. So in today's video, we are talking about 2021 goals and intentions. I do not want to say the word resolution just because... I feel as if saying the word resolution really puts a 12 month mark to it and what if I set a goal that does not become fruitful at the end of 2021, what will I do? I just want to say goals and intentions, these are the things that I intend to do and whether it, it happens or it becomes fruitful by 1% or 100%, I will be happy knowing that at least I put in the work and I got some form of return on investment, you know what I mean? To be honest, the the horrific year 2020 has been for majority of us i even though it was bad of course in many ways i still cannot complain you know what i mean because 2020 was still a very steady year for both me and my husband and like majority of our family back home and amidst the pandemic we still were able to have our full-time jobs we were able to have our full-time salary. We even got the opportunity to move houses. So we moved to another prefecture. We're now living in a new apartment, in a new place, in a new city. All of that stuff. And yeah, just, just little stuff like those you still have to be thankful for. We still survived the entire 365 days despite persons, you know, dying from the pandemic and all of that. Our friends and family are okay based on our knowledge and things have just been steady so i will not complain i'm just glad that we have a fresh start and we have a new year to set new intentions and go about life differently if there's anything that we think we could have worked on yeah so with that being said let's just jump into how i vision my 2021 and i hope this video is not long i tend to talk a lot but let us just see how quickly i can go about this so for my intentions over the years i've just written down i normally just write down a whole lot of goals that i want to achieve in the 365 days of the year and then when it does not happen i get sad and i get I don't know just in my feelings about it so I decided not to do that this year as I said already and one of those goals that I had last year starting this YouTube channel is that I would become monetized and I would have 1,000 subscribers and I'll be being the biggest youtuber there is and as you can see I have not hit any of those landmarks just yet I am still under 1,000 subscribers and I am not monetized on YouTube so it just goes to show I'm still here I'm still showing up I'm still doing the thing despite not reaching that goal so this year I am turning it around and so I have decided to write down my goals and intentions into one two three four different categories instead of just having one big long list I decided to just separate them a bit so that I can keep track and I can just know what areas i need to be working on instead of just having an overwhelming list staring at me every day and getting me anxious and all of that stuff so we'll be talking about that the four categories for my goals this year are of course personal things that i want to achieve personally for myself and of course work then i have health 
and then I have relationships. So we are going into the personal goals. And while I say this, I was just on Instagram too. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I encourage you to do so. I will leave my um, handle right here on your screen. And I was just on Instagram stories being very vulnerable about a particular struggle that I have had for so many years now. So you guys, you just, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talking about this already. So I'm sorry for the repetition, but I just have to tell my YouTube family as well and just put it out there because it is a part of healing. And for many years, I have struggled with my natural hair when it comes to wearing my natural hair with confidence and the reason behind that was because as a child growing up i wanted to be um that hot girl in high school in ja like jamaicans you know what i mean when you say you want to be that hot girl in high school because you have so many other girls that are you know they have breasts they have boyfriends they have this they have that and you just want to kind of fit in right in jamaica you kind of feel pressure to fit in most most of the times um god bless you if you were never peer pressured into feeling some form of way as if you're not enough but basically back in those days years ago um while going to school i used to do all kinds of things with my natural hair you guys and you know that if you don't take care of your natural hair eventually it's going to start breaking apart it's going to start falling out it's going to start losing the thickness all of that it's just going to start thinning out basically to nothing and uh, for a period of time during school, all I was doing was putting different kinds of products in my hair. Mixture of all kinds of different stuff. I used to have my hair like this and like comb it down and like trash it out. And then when it's time for me to like untrash it, I would not take time. I would just have a comb, not a big teeth comb either to make it easier on the hair. But it's like fine teeth comb just going through. And then by the time I'm finished combing through all of that stuff that I just did, for just a couple hours at school, all of my hair would be in my hand. So I never used to take care of my hair. Plus my hair was um, processed, it was relaxed. So, and it was already thin before I relaxed it. And so yeah, all of these stuff just damaged my hair. And by the time I got to grade 11, my hair was like, I'm not doing this with you anymore. So I started, my hair started thinning out and I started losing my edges and other things just started happening and then I went to college and then met some friends who I thought were my friends you guys I'm telling you like some of the times your enemies are those persons closest to you and I learned that the very hard way in college anyway not trying to let the, uh, make the story be too long but I met those girls and I confided in them about my natural hair state and for a period of time it was fine it was cool yeah no problem and um after a while i don't know what happened the, uh, they all turned their backs on me and they started making fun of me and calling me names like my nickname for them on on campus because i boarded at college was alopecia they called me alopecia for the entire four years that i was doing teaching i was being bullied as a young adult and being the scaredy cat that i am i never used to respond i just just always crawl up in my shell or cry to whoever i need to cry to but basically they were dampening my self-esteem and ever since then i have never worn my natural hair again i've just always covered it all up in wigs i didn't um, give it any attention. I didn't care about it And so it just kept getting worse because if you're not tending to your grass and it's just going to wither away and do all of the things And it's never going to come back to life. You know what I mean? So I just left my hair. I didn't really care about it. Nothing at all and over the years I Developed a habit where I just sit down and I pick out the hair that I already do not have and so it even gets worse I started having bald spots because I just sit down watching TV and I'm like just picking 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 away and You know over the years no good can come from that. So my hair just kept on the low but then I met a friend God bless her heart and I opened up to her about just my confidence because she also like people normally question me like why they don't see me wear my hair and I've just always shut the conversation down because I don't want to talk about it any at all basically 
I opened up to her about being bullied in school and being called alopecia and all of that stuff. And she basically looked at my hair and she was like, girl, but you pretty. Girl, you have hair. Like, and she started, you know, giving me ways in which I could start coming around with wearing my natural hair out. And she gave me the idea of purchasing a headband wig, which this is what this is. This is a headband wig. So the wig starts here. This headband is actually made on the wig. And it is made so that you leave your natural hair out here and you wear the wig as, you know, it's just something at the back. And I was like, there's no in hell I'm wearing a headband wig because I'm not about showing my natural hair at all. And she basically hyped me up and I decided to buy it as you can see. And this afternoon, I was so nervous about putting it on. And then the minute I put it on, I burst it out in tears because of just how beautiful I thought I looked. And I was like... This feels good. It feels as if I am finally free. Even though I'm only leaving out this much of my natural hair, it still feels as if I am free because I would never do this, especially on the internet where everybody is going to see this video now. So, that being said, my personal goal for this year is to put more energy into mending my natural hair so that finally I can not wear wigs as often. Still love wigs, still will forever rock wigs, but um, if you follow me on Instagram again, majority of the times I'm on stories, I'm in a bonnet or something covering up my real hair when I'm not in wigs and I just want to get to that place where I can just show up and do not care about how the hell my hair looks. You know what I mean? So this year, I am going to be working very hard on mending my hair and just healing from that trauma because I honestly did not know that just wearing this much of my natural hair would make me feel so good like I feel so good you guys have no idea I was in tears on Instagram and maybe I'm out of tears now and that's why I'm not crying now but I was all crying over on Instagram you guys because I just the trauma that those girls in college put me through because I did not have alopecia, I did not have a hair disease, I did not have cancer, I did not have any of that and I still don't, um, just putting it out there, I don't, it's just a matter of I wasn't taking care of my hair, my hair started um, thinning out and all of that and I just was not taking care of it, nurturing it to let it not fall off, you know, so over the years, it just got worse because I wasn't paying any attention. So the trauma of what those girls put me through, I was like, I'm never wearing my natural hair again. So I'm so thankful for that friend who really encouraged me to get this wig and try it out and see how I feel about it. And I really feel good about it. So yeah, it's unlike Donkey Kong for this hair growth journey 2021. All right, comment down <laughs> below how you feel about me opening up about this story because so many of you have asked me to see my natural hair and this is as much as you guys will get right now in january but as the year goes by i i, I hope to show you more okay anyway um so that is my one and only personal goal for this year is to work on my hair. I don't want to overwhelm myself because I don't want to let my hair get left behind. So moving on, already 15 minutes in, so I need to speed up this video. Um, my work goals, and there are a lot of work goals when I break it down, but overall, it comes down to one, one thing. So I am not going to be putting a number towards my work goal this year i just know that i want to build or continue to build my community with you guys so as you know i've started this youtube journey and i have said here and over on instagram many times that this is where i see myself in the next five years in the next 10 years i see myself as a content creator creating content being an influencer i know influencer has a very bad connotation to it like many persons even the influencers in the industry do not use the word influencer because people just tend to not understand this kind of job 
and they bash it a lot but at the end of the day it is still something that i enjoy i enjoy coming on here turning the camera on talking to you guys showing you guys the reality of my life inspiring you in some way shape or form with the content i put out whether over here on youtube or over there on instagram and that is just something i want to continue i love the relationship i love the community i love when i talk to you guys in dms i love when i come out with products and you guys love it i love asking for your suggestions and you give the suggestions and i love how invested you guys are in this community and i am so invested in continuing to providing that good content for all of you so that this is where i see myself and many persons who do not understand the blogger world the influencer world they will look at this profession as oh it's not a real job and all of that but i i i urge you to enter into the shoes of an influencer or a content creator and then you will see just how much work this is all right i do not even have to break it down the amount of things that goes into this kind of job but research it for yourself or try to do it yourself and figure out it <laughs> and figure it out because i promise you that you will see just how much we are doing and have to keep doing in order to make this business thrive because yeah in the long run i am not making money from this yet but i do hope to start making money from it one day and if basically if i don't create content i don't get paid so it is a whole lot of work and it takes a whole lot of motivation to even sit here right now not making money from this job that i'm doing on the side because i do have a nine to five job and still create content for all of you for free so yeah it is where i see myself and so my work goal for this year is not saying that i need 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year because to be honest i just want to continue building a community i want to build my community nats fam i want nats fam to grow into bigger better things you know what i mean so if at the end of the year if nats fam has only grown grown to five extra persons i'll be grateful 10 extra persons i'll be grateful if i don't get monetized by the end of the year still grateful because at the end of the day i'm still building a community this is still a channel that you guys can come know that you're getting real life content and inspirational content and you can always talk to me whether here or over on instagram wherever you feel like and it will just always be a place that you come and you feel safe and you feel free and at the end of your busy day you can always watch one of my videos and be like oh the day is ended i feel good so my main goal is to really take up this job this blogger life this influencer life way up i'm giving this my all and giving it my all might sound a whole lot because i do have a nine to five job I do live in Japan and if I want to keep my visa I have to work so I, I will not have all the hours there is to put into this side hustle right now it is a side hustle for right now I'm very intentional about building this community um, to greater better things so that is my number one work goal I just want to create better content and just show up for you guys every week on a wednesday and even twice on holidays right and with that being said too please tell me what content you like to see on this channel because i am rebranding a bit i don't know if you guys have realized the description box down below is a little different from what i usually do my channel banner is different i do have merch coming out this year you guys i cannot wait to show you the products that i have created so we do have natsnificent merch coming out this year so look forward to that also followed natsnificent by Nate web over on instagram so you get all of the updates and also i'll be sharing on my instagram stories when the products start rolling in because i'll be ordering some samples just so i can test out the quality of the items before i start selling to you guys and then i'll be just showing you guys in videos to come what the products look like so you can get ready for launch and i'm so excited about that it will be like my first ever merch my first ever passive income my first ever business opportunity it's just a lot of firsts that are going to be happening this year and i'm very excited about it so 
yeah follow that page also on instagram so you guys can get the update on the merch and all of that stuff my niche is changing usually majority of you guys probably phoned me because i was talking a whole lot about coming to japan and moving to japan tips and all of that which you will still be getting it's just that i enjoy doing other types of videos such as doing hauls and vlogs and being productive being organized showing you guys how i set my intentions all of that stuff those are just things that i like to watch on youtube and i like to create those videos they're more entertaining for me to edit and so on so i'm changing my niche a bit so you'll be seeing a lot of vlog style videos you'll be seeing a lot of organizing with me videos productivity videos that of course will in turn inspire you to be productive in your own life just in case you're struggling with that and just so so if there are any video requests leave them down in the comments below so i can see them and get on working on those for you all right next up is my health goals for 2021 and it is very straight and simple so i'm keeping all my goals at just one thing but they are really it's one broad heading but many things fall under them and um in terms of health i just want to be more mentally well so as i said in the beginning of this video well i struggled with my hair condition um for years and hair condition meaning self-confidence i did not have any of that to wear my natural hair out and just all of that stuff that has been a baggage for me for years just a baggage that i carry it messes with your self-confidence it messes with my just my my self-esteem and all of that is just a baggage i show up and i'm happy and i'm pumpy but i also do go through my own you know what I mean? So this year I want to focus on just finally feeling mentally free, not feeling so pressured by other people if I'm not doing something that you probably envision me doing or you do not understand why I am just making YouTube videos and not making any money from it and why, do, why am I doing it? The thing is once it makes me happy, I want to do it and not care about what other people think. Uh, start letting go of baggages that I've been carrying for years and all of that stuff. There are just little things that hinder you from going sky high. And to be honest, I'm so tired of being poor and broke, you guys. So I'm aiming for the sky. And these baggages that I have, some of them, it is time to let them go. They had their time in my life where they put me down and they have put me down for long enough. It's time for me to like caca and just be free and fly away. So that is my, my health goal for this year is to just finally start working through my ish. Start working through all of these baggages, burning them one by one and start getting to that place where I feel free, where I feel confident and where I can show up my best self. And for relationship, I just want to continue to work on all the relationships of my life. The relationship with my husband, the relationship with my mother, the relationship with my family and friends. I want to start calling people more, start checking in on people more. Just start having a better relationship because at the end of the day, you only got one life. We do not know when our loved ones will be out of this world. And if nothing else taught you that life is short, let 2020 attest to the fact that life is short and just out of the blue, a pandemic can just come and swipe everybody that you love and know out of your life. And so you do not want to waste any time on showing those that you love that you love them so i am planning to improve all the relationships of my life this year not that nothing is wrong with any other relationship but just being more present and being more um aware that it is important for us to show love and be with our family and friends all the time this is just all of the goals that i have for this year i know it sounds like 
minimal but as i said all of them are wider categories that have many little things especially work when i want to give my all into blogging and influencing it means creating a website it means creating products it means showing up it means doing all kinds of things so even though it's one heading you guys a lot of things fall under this one heading so i urge you to pray for me while i pray for you if you have any goals for this year let me know about them in the comments below let's talk and so we can encourage each other and keep each other accountable so i might check in on you six months from now and ask you what's up how, how are you doing with your goals and all of that stuff and let us just keep this community going remember if you are not yet following me over on instagram i do encourage you to do so because that's where i share real life moments like when i'm bawling my eyes out over on the internet that's where you can see my camera just died but that is where you can see real and raw of course real and raw is also here on youtube but i'm more put together you know what i mean so yeah follow me over on there and i did prepare two more videos right here on your screen for you to check out be sure to check that out and if you liked this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell to be notified every time i post a video until next time Bye guys. Happy New Year.